oh, I'm liking this book. Oh, it's juicy. Then also, how do you know that there's 250 grand, babes, if you didn't count the money? So you had time to bring this man to the hospital, but instead, you were there counting him the money. Mmm, it's giving fishy. My darling, I love you, 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 I love you. Hello, guys. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another book video, more specifically a series. We are trying to finish series that we're in the middle of that are sitting on our TBR. In today's video, we're going to be focusing on murder mysteries and murder mystery series. I've slowly started getting into murder mystery because my best friend loves murder mystery. And I was always a wimp when it came to it because I just, I don't know, I'm not a fan of gore, scary. I'm a scaredy cat. But I feel like I've loved that mystery element of murder mystery of like, who done it and a lot of them are not like that gory or that graphic so i've actually really been enjoying them two murder mystery series that are sitting on my tbr we have the antiques hunter's guide to murder by cl miller saw this at walmart um a couple weeks ago or in march i think and me and my bestie got this book and then we also have everyone on this train is a suspect this is also a series the first book in this duology is everyone in my family has killed someone interesting um so hopefully we can read these two series um this one's not really a series i think it's just one book but this one is a series so i thought we could try to make a dent in our tbr but also tackle some murder mystery series on our tbr so hopefully we can read these books um so yeah i think i'm going to read this one first um because i have the audiobook on audible so hopefully we can tackle this book it's not too long um and yeah let's see how many pages it's two something i haven't read a lot this week because i've just been kind of busy in a little tiny slump just because I did the 24 hour reading challenge. If you have, if you haven't seen that video, I did it with my best friend, kind of fried my brain. So I kind of took a little bit of a break, but now I'm feeling like slowly getting into it. And I thought we could tackle some books on our TBR. So I think I'm going to read The Antique Hunter's Guide to Murder. It sounds very interesting. I think it's basically um, an antique hunter or an antique collector um, gets murdered and sends a letter to Freya who has to basically try to uncover how he died. Um, and I'm excited to see, I'm excited to get into it, um, and make a dent in our TBR. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to read these books in this video. Before we get into it, I thought I would share a few of my favorites. I don't have a lot of murder mystery. This shelf right here is like murder mystery slash like I don't know what this genre is called, um, where it's like murder mystery comedy vibes. Um, but yeah, so we have a little shelf here. My fave murder mysteries are by Riley Sager. We have The Only One Left. This is my first murder mystery that I've read and I absolutely enjoyed it. It made me realize, hey, I could totally read some murder mystery. Um, I'll totally do a video talking all about murder mystery, but I want to read a little bit more before I like show my recs because I don't have a lot on my repertoire. Um, but really enjoyed this one. We have The Paris Apartment, which I read in my series Make a Dent in my TBR on TikTok. Um, and basically a murder happens in a Paris apartment and you try to figure out who did it. And then we have Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. This book is so good. Um, it really had me on my tiptoes trying to figure out who done it and what's going on. Um, and then we also have um this series i believe this is called like a comedy murder mystery kind of i forgot the genre um but this one is very cute and funny it's more like comedy vibes with a little bit of like murder mystery um and or more like trying to cover up a murder <laughs> but in a funny way so i love this series and it's super cute um and then we have we have a good girl's guide to murder by holly jackson this is a ya like murder mystery i actually enjoyed this book but in the moment i didn't decide to continue the series but i do eventually want to um so yeah and then we have butcher and blackbird this is literally two serial killers that like loki fall in love as they're competing to see who can kill the next bad guy um absolutely ate this up i cannot wait for the second book um so those are all of like murder mystery like 
dark serial killer book vibes that I've read. Um, also, we have Ace of Spades. This is a black thriller slash murder mystery. We have Ace of Spades. Um, also, beautiful cover. And yeah. So yeah, those are kind of like my little murder mystery wrecks. I don't have a lot just because I'm starting to get into it, but I thought I'd share the ones that I've read and hopefully we can raid some more, make a dent in our TBR and finish some series that are sitting on our TBR. So I'm going to start with The Antique Hunter's Guide to Murder. Um, I'm going to go between physically reading it and listening to the audiobook because I got some work to do. Today's a rainy day, so it's kind of giving like murder mystery vibes, like chill rainy vibes and i'm eating it up so i'm excited to read this and see who done it and get into it i'm excited so yeah let's get reading well i gotta put a book the books away because this is a mess but let's put the books away do some reading and get into it It's a couple hours later. I finished The Antique Hunter's Guide to Murder by C.L. Miller. Um, and I actually realized that this is like her first m novel. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I think I'd give it two stars. I wasn't as into it as I thought. Um, if you're a history buff and like, like antique stuff, I think you'd actually really enjoy this book. I'm not a big history buff person and I don't really care about that stuff granted I do find like antique stuff and like thrifting really interesting but I wasn't as into this book I felt like it was interesting but not captivating like I didn't feel so attached to the antique hunter enough to want to figure out who him um so yeah I did love that they had short chapters um and I loved the beautiful descriptive writing I could really visualize um the story but i found it pretty slow um and because i wasn't into the mystery i feel like i didn't really enjoy the reveal and how it ended up like i was just more like oh okay i don't think i'm understanding because i'm not into it if that makes sense um so i was a little bit bored reading it um i don't know if it's because i'm getting out of my slump or if i'm just not a big history buff slash antique person um but i will give that the cover is really cute um and yeah so i give this book two stars and now we can take it off the tbr um so now i'm going to be reading slash starting um a duology which is everyone in my family has killed someone by benjamin stevenson which is the first book um in the duology i have everyone that book is the first book and then i physically have the second book which i got at walmart with my best friend hopefully this murder mystery is a little bit more interesting um this one looks really interesting especially the back says the program is is a who's a who of crime writing royalty the debut writer me the forensic science writer the blockbuster writer the legal thriller writer the literary writer and the psychological suspense writer but one of us is a murderer the remain authors quickly turn into detectives wait so they're all writers on a train and they're trying to figure out who 
did the deed. Very interesting. Um, but first, we're going to read the first book um, in this duology, which is Everyone in My Family Has Killed Someone, which sounds very interesting. Um, I'm guessing it's a family of serial killers. That's all I'm getting from at least the title. Um, so I'm excited to get into Benjamin Stevenson. And if I enjoy it, maybe I'll read more books by him. But I thought we could take this little murder mystery series off the TBR. Um, and yeah, hopefully I'm more into this series. We shall see. I'm currently still working, so I will be listening to the audiobook. The first book is actually on YouTube, so I'm going to be listening to the audiobook on there. Um, and yeah, that's the plan. So let's get reading. Right. I am making a grilled cheese for lunch and going to eat chips and guac. Um, I started Everyone in My Family Has Killed Someone. Oh, I'm liking this book. Oh, it's juicy. The narrator is so funny and so witty. Like, oh my, he's like, yeah, you know, all my family has killed someone. And like, I'm going to try to uncover the mystery. If you want to know, follow along with me. Like, I don't know if it's the narrator that's reading the book or whatever, but this book is, it's giving. And I'm only in the first chapter and I'm liking the speed of this book. I'm liking where this is going. The brother literally is like, I need you. I think I killed someone. And I'm like, ooh, we getting right into it. Whereas the other book, I felt like it was like slow into it. Oh, no, no. This one, it's getting right into the juicy part. It, it, it hooks you from the first page. I'm actually really enjoying this book. And I got a feeling I'm going to really enjoy this duology. Okay, we're picking up pace. And now I want to know. Who is the person that the brother killed? Like, who who is this person? And why is he kind of low-key chill about it? Is he a serial killer or something? Because why is he so chill about killing someone? Hmm. Anyways, I shall continue reading. I'm going to eat lunch um, and take a little break and then continue work. Um, and then also today, I'm hanging out with my bestie. I'm going over to her house. We're going to eat Subway and hang out. So I think that'll be really fun. And that's the plan for today, so. He is not dead, apparently. He is moving. So they're moving someone that got hit, and I am shook it. And apparently he said he didn't kill him, and it's actually someone that shot him and didn't know what to do and tried to help him. I'm a little confused, but I'm liking it so far. I decided to make some scrambled eggs with my grilled cheese because, I don't know, there was eggs there and cheese, and I was like, you know what, let's make some scrambled eggs. It's a grilled cheese. The book is juicy. Um, I'm into it. I don't know what's happening necessarily, but that's what I love about a murder mystery. Things are happening. And you're like, who did what? Where are we? And I'm loving it. Um, so yeah. Anyways, I just thought I would share because I said that he killed him, but apparently he didn't. Question mark. Um, so now there's two guys with someone that was presumably dead, but is moving and they're trying to hide the body, question mark. Um, I'm into it, I'm into it. I'm way more into this book than I was the other one. Um, and I got a feeling it's just gonna get juicier and juicier. But anyways, I'm gonna make these eggs, scrambled eggs, and eat lunch. Cause I'm trying to be better at eating my lunch cause I feel like I eat breakfast fine and I eat dinner fine, but I'd be forgetting about lunch. And then I'm like starving by the time uh, dinner comes around. So trying to be better with that. But um, yeah, get beautiful and then I need some ketchup. Um, anyways, I'm going to continue listening to the audiobook, um, and I shall update you later. There's some stolen money. Um, <laughs> Wow, this is a lot. So there's apparently some stolen money. The brother wants to just bring this man to the hospital so that the police can deal with it. He's like, no, there was 250 grand. We can't. They'll think it's me. But then also, how do you know that there's 250 grand, babes, if you didn't count the money? So you had time to bring this man to the hospital, but instead you were there counting the money. Mm, it's giving fishy. But I'm, I'm into it. Mm-hmm.
guys, it is the next day. I finished Everyone in My Family Has Killed Someone by Benjamin Stevenson. And I think I would give the book three stars. It was very interesting and really juicy. And I absolutely loved the narrator. Like, I genuinely felt like I was listening to a bestie telling me all the tea on his murderous family. <laughs> it was very interesting. By the end, though, I was a little bit confused. I feel like there were so many side characters and so many interconnections that like when the reveal happened i was like huh wait whoa what but apart from that very interesting i'd give it three stars it was so much more enjoyable than the antique one um so yeah now we are going to start where's the book now we are going to start the second one which is everyone on this train is a suspect this is the second book in the duology i guess you could say apparently there's gonna be a third one coming out in october and it's gonna be a christmasy one which i'm kind of excited for um but yeah so now we're gonna be starting this one everyone on the train is a suspect what i got from the back is that there's a Australian Mystery Writers Society invited to a crime writing festival and a murder happens on the plane, not the plane, a murder happens on the train and there's different like writers and they are going to come together to try to figure out the crime. So that sounds very interesting. I'm excited to see. Hopefully it's not as complex. I realize I like the murder mysteries where there's like, you know, a few suspects. But when there's too many suspects, I'm like, girl. I'm a little confused right now when there's too many interlinks. Maybe that's just because, like, I'm starting out in these murder mysteries, so I'm not as good as, like, figuring out all the characters and remembering all their names and stuff. Um, but I'm excited to dabble into this book. This book's a little bit shorter than the first one. Um, I'm going to be going in between physically reading and the audiobook. Um, and, yeah, we will be finishing this duology and taking it off our TBR, so... We're making a nice little big dent and also a dent in the series. So, yeah, I don't have much books left on my physical TBR. I actually think I have two physical books. Um, I've been on a book buying ban, so that's why I don't have a lot of the physical books. So soon we're going to be tackling my digital TBR. Um, so I'm excited and proud. So let's get into this book. It is a while later. Like I said, I finished Everyone in My Family Has Killed Someone. Enjoyed that. Three stars. It was real juicy. And then I finished Everyone on This Plane. I keep saying plane. Everyone on This Train is a Suspect. I actually really enjoyed this book and I thought it was pretty interesting. I loved getting the inside of each writer on the train and trying to figure out who did it. Was I confused again? Yes, multiple times, but I still found it very juicy. Info, juicy. The drama, juicy. Like everything was so well done, so well written. Love the narrators in his books. I find them so quirky and fun and I really, really enjoyed this series, especially the narrator. Like just like I felt like the narrator was my bestie giving me the tea on all these murderous actions and stuff um so I really enjoyed this book and I give it three stars so I give the duology three stars actually enjoyed it so yeah I would give both books three stars I really enjoyed it I absolutely love the narrator like I said the drama was was hitting in these books so I absolutely enjoyed it anyways 
that is everything. I finished the murder mysteries that are sitting on my TBR, especially my physical TBR. We've made a nice little dent in the series and the TBR, so I am happy. We now have only two physical books sitting on our TBR, and then I think we have, in general, let's see, in general we have, so I'll give you guys a little update on my TBR. Right now there is 12 books sitting digitally, excluding series. We're including series plus like wish list. We are at 36 books. The goal is to not add anything else for a little while, or at least for the rest of this month, so that I can try to make a nice dent and shrink it to about 10, and then I can like go from there, if that makes sense. So yeah, we've been making a nice little dent. We've added a bunch, we've read a bunch. I've been really liking it, and I'm glad that I'm trying new books and getting out of my comfort zone, reading more murder mystery. And these books have been pushing me to want to read more and kind of see what style I like, and maybe even diving in thrillers. I'm a scaredy cat, so we'll see. Comment down below some murder mystery wrecks or thrillers that you find are not too scary and very interesting and not too intricate because, girl, I don't want to be too confused. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Comment down below some other book videos you guys want to see from me or videos in general. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.